right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jujitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Cap Springs, Maryland, USA, the free. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean super boy, Du Ho Choi. All right, Grinton rules in the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch him up. gets underway and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. He blocks the punch. Ooh, what a punch. Real nice body kick lands. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. Look at him whip his hip. 
hip into that kick. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Good stick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Found a home for that knee. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, single collar tie here. Real quick leg kick. Oh, back to the overhand right. Swing and a miss. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Just missed with the left there. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And he landed the right hand there. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. And they separate. That's a big strike right there. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Big Paul punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, nice job to land the knee upstairs there. That's going to leave a mark. And again, we talk about the size advantage. He certainly put it to good use there. Joy gets caught by the elbow there. You know he's tough, but you just don't want to absorb too many more of those. Blocks the strike. Oh, collar tie. Right punches there. Ooh, big shot lands. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body shin. And then he lands a nice elbow. Straight right hand now just misses. Right hand on point. Choi's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Effective punch there by Choi. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Beautiful kick. Fifteen seconds. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly Where seems to have first? found the Where timing of his no, opponent. No, no, no. Right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, here we go as our next round gets Ready? underway. That was some serious precision go, go, striking go. on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angles. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. 
damage. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Don't wait. You hit him first. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Got the single collar side. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Superman punch now. The Korean Superboy gets in the clinch yet again. Oh, big punch land. Ooh, blocks the shot. Single collar tie now. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Leg kick. Beautiful punch. Oh, clinch position. Watch the knees and the elbows come down. Back and forth we go! Just over three minutes to go. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. He blocks the shot. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And they second. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together. Tonight, he has landed a ton of significant strikes and a pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Joy gets hit with a kick. Blocks the shot. Nice combination. Punch over the top. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Trying to find a home for that right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Slips the punch. Just out of range with that right hand. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. What a punch. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. The next with a right. Round three next. Like two, 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 All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. 
All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Caught that. No, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching on the catch, that kid will come to high people. Then you're in a lot of trouble. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, no. He turned away. Back. Oh, misses with the jab. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Choi's kick block. Left hand punch from the clinch. Right hand punch from the clinch. Boy, Ty Plum. Good punch, Lance. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Left punch is true. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big punch from the clinch. He's timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Back to the jab now, no good. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you will see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you got to be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? And that one was heavy. Knee to the body. Nice defense there, huge block. Oh, man. Big knee. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Choi's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Nice connection with the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, nice jab. Left hook coming is blocked. Lands the right hand. Back and forth we go. What a tricky head kick. Great punch landed with so much power. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, nice jab to the head there by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, he lands a hook there, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. When you throw a hook, it can go around the guard of your opponent. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. That was a thudding leg kick. Man, he just gets better with every fight. Another kick to the leg landed there by Short. Big punch lands to the middle. 
Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination up top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, pretty good back and ready? forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. DC, it didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, Superman punch! He's hurt. Over and over, he lands a big body. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Trying to stay in this fight! Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Counter punch landed there by Choi. Big kick land. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much to keep making it split showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Great punch. Wow. All right, single collar time now. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Take down defense on the one. That is a national transition. Right hand punch with the clinch. Three minutes remain in the round. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his body? His opponent will likely continue to attack. Big punch land. Ooh. And here he is back in familiar territory in the clinch. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Oh, single collar tie here. Try to establish that jab. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Choi. A oh, little single collar tie there. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. Here. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fights. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Joy goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Battle for position here. Oh, collar tie. Just misses there with the left. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, that right hand is on point. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. Block that strike. Got the single collar tie. Oh, he's in trouble.
to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Oh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. Joy gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Single collar tie now. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. Again, back into this position. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. Fifth and final round. Visibly limping here. Big kick land. Trying to establish that jab once again. And they separate. Whoa! He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Choi's pass attempt denied. I mean, that right hand lands a square. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt! Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Right hand punches the clinch. Real sneaky body kick. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Big body kick land. Plus right hand is true. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. No! Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press it. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Right hand punch from the oh! Oh! Holy smokes! He put him to sleep. Get right here. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Punches block. Straight punch lands. Straight right hand, no good. Choi gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. All right, he engages oh! in the single collar tie here. And just like that, the fight is over. He got him! Woo! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. 
Nicely done to finish the run. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for all replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 22 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.